Welcome everybody. I'm John Zadar and this is the first day of March. It is Tuesday. You're watching On Top and Hot. Now I like to go out and look at OTC stocks and penny stocks and bring you something interesting. And I did today and it was a rough day. There was a lot of bloodshed on the market today. And amidst all the corpses out there, I actually found something. I found something that well, has come out of stealth mode. It's been all hush-hush. They haven't been telling us what they're gonna do. And they've just been coming out right now. They are just producing a new type of business model, which I think is very relevant for today's situations and times, and can not only help small businesses and medium-sized businesses, but is ultimately gonna help the consumer. And I wanna share that with you today because it could be an opportunity for a good long hold for some good gains. Let me show you what I got. But of course, we're over here at the otcmarkets.com website because, well, it's always current. It's never outdated. And we're going to look at the OTC stocks here and save ourselves the hassle. We are looking at GPOX. That is GPO Plus Inc. They finished the day at whew, way too many numbers there. 0.47375. You know, the problem with that is you have to bid through that 375. You got to get that all the way up before that turns over. That's a lot of extra numbers on the odometer to have to turn. I wish they'd just get rid of those. This was a really hard day on the market. The big markets took a tumble, and so did this stock. She is down almost 21% today. Could be a good buying opportunity, actually. Honestly, could. They're on the OTC QB. That's the middle tier of the OTC market. That's the better tier. I mean, literally, that's what they call it the better tier and they do that for a good reason you have to audit your financials to make it to the QB on the pinks you don't have to audit your records you could if you want but you don't have to here it's an absolute so it makes everything more trustworthy more transparent they have a verified profile and a transfer agent verified look for those green boxes over here I'm not sure what they're verifying but without them I get a little nervous with them there I feel good so look for them this looks good so what is this company? Well, they initially established themselves in 2016 and in 2020, they took on a new business model and went into stealth mode. They're headquartered here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and they are a publicly traded holding company. Now, a holding company means that they have ambitions of getting hold of other companies, maybe an acquisition, maybe a merger, and then they take control of that company and make money with it. And this company plans on doing that down the road. It's the business they're doing right now that is going to open up the doors for those deals to just pop up for them. They are a GPO. What's a GPO? So what's a GPO? Well, before I read their definition, think of it this way. Think of it as uh, Sam's Club, Costco, uh, a co-op. It is a buyer's club. That's what it really is. A GPO is an entity that is created to leverage the purchasing power of a group of businesses or individuals to obtain discounts from vendors based on their accumulative purchasing power. The GPOs then negotiate discounted rates using that information, getting the best prices they can from their vendors and their service providers. Then they pass on the savings to us. Think about Walmarts. When Walmarts came into business, that was their big push, that they're buying so much of this stuff, they're getting a great deal, and they can pass on this great deal to us so we get to save money. And it was a success. And there's a lot of companies that use GPOs. They've been around since the early 1900s, originally created for hospitals and the healthcare sector, and they're still using them today. The problem is, is that most GPOs have MOQs. That's a minimum order. You know, when I was on eBay, I used to go to Alibaba and I would have loved to have bought my wallets or my plastic cups from them, but they wanted me to buy 10,000 units. Minimum order, they wouldn't do anything less. I couldn't afford it. As a small man, a small business, I could not afford to do that. Now they don't have the MOQs. Business is kicking. So this company has no MOQs and they're working to help the small business and the mid-sized businesses be able to regain some of that profit. Now, right now we're in what you might call a shrinkflation period. You see the inflation, prices are going up. They're going up drastically right now. But if you pay attention and you may not even notice it now, your products are shrinking. Literally, the package is the same size, 
but look at the contents. It used to read 12 ounces, it now reads 10. They used to give you 100 pills in a bottle, they now give you 90. I'm not kidding folks. Same package, less quantity, more price. And that is hurting everybody. So this company is going out and they're looking for products, looking for sectors that need help. Uh, small businesses that can really grow with a GPO, with a group purchasing organization. And they have found a couple right now and they are expanding. And we'll touch on to that here in a minute. So they try to identify products that have a unique value proposition. And a big part of GPO Plus's business model is negotiating distribution agreements. You know, it's great to have members, but you better have factories, distributors, and vendors who can supply you steadily quality products. GPO Plus enters into both exclusive and non-exclusive distribution agreements with products and services they feel are relative. And sometimes, oops, sometimes they even will white label, private label products to create their own value added brands. A, a real good example, and it's just going to flow in here, so I'm just going to go to it. They've got three divisions right now. One they started in 2020, CBD GPO, which is a group purchasing organization for the CBD and hemp industry. They started that in 2020. Then just a little bit ago, they got Health GPO, which is a purchasing organization for the healthcare industry. And right now, at this moment, they are devising another one, which offers professional services. Services they're really already doing for themselves. Now they can just do it for someone else and get paid for it. So the first one we said there was CBD GPO. <laughs> GPO. <laughs> I'm going to call it GPO. It just comes off my tongue easier that way. CBD GPO is a membership-based buying group to help hemp companies, including wholesalers, manufacturers, and distributors, and labs realize savings and efficiencies by aggregating all their purchasing volume and using that leverage to negotiate discounts with other manufacturers, distributors, and vendors. They see that CBD GPO will allow wholesalers and other hemp companies to obtain the best quality, consistent products at the best value. Now, they're not just looking for cheap products. They go on here to tell you they will visit the site. They will do independent testing. They will check out the documents. They make sure that it's quality top to bottom, and then they go into negotiations. Now, CBD oil is a great one to discuss so that you can see the value here. CBD oil has gotten to be very popular, booming, booming, booming everywhere. Problem is there's lots of little businesses out there that aren't going to survive. And one big company is going to come along and start gobbling them up. And they're going to get huge. And this is when billion dollar enterprises are created. CBD oil. If you had a two liter bottle of it, it would be worth anywhere from $9,000 to $18,000. I'm not kidding. A two liter Pepsi bottle filled with CBD oil. However, that's if you opened up each little bottle that you would buy and pour it in there. That is retail value. Wholesale value or discounted value is going to be a lot cheaper, leaving a lot more profit for the resellers. So that's what this is all about. Nobody can probably come up with $18,000 to buy it all. But if you can get all these people together, you know, a real good example. And since we're talking about CBD, uh, the company is also selling Delta 8, which kind of focuses in on here. Delta H is like Delta 9. It's very similar to THC. It comes from the hemp plant. It can get you high, just not as high. It is a loophole because hemp is legal, but THC is not federally legal. And people are trying to sell Delta 8 in certain states are closing up that loophole. But in either case, a great example is an ounce of marijuana might go for $240, but you can buy a quarter for $85. Well, I don't want to spend $85 when I can buy three quarters and get one free by paying $240. So I'll go talk to three of my buddies and talk them into going in on it with me. And then we can split it up, each get our quarter and have gotten a better price for it because we used our purchase power for negotiations. And that is all they're doing. The next group they've gotten into is Health GPO. And this is an interesting one. They jumped on the bandwagon during the COVID thing and they got into the COVID rapid test. And they've been deploying these since, uh, well, 
over a year now and actually that is where they've made most of their money most of their money have come from these rapid test kits and they have secured very strong uh, supply lines to keep these things coming in so that businesses, hospitals, doctors can have them on site. They say that their target members are in and around the healthcare industry. That includes hospitals, medical practice groups, laboratories, professional physicians, as well as entities that are not directly related to the healthcare, such as general businesses and government agencies. We hope to save our members money by aggregating purchases negotiating with vendors and sharing discounts by doing their job bringing all that volume of buying power to somebody and saying look we can give you this much business if you'll give us this kind of price we hope to save our members time and alleviate headaches by streamlining orders and offering integrated solutions leading to considerable supply chain efficiencies we have developed a robust social media platform and acquired millions of lead generation databases and started our campaign within the first week generated leads and closed a significant sale on the first lead so the company feels it is on the right marketing direction for lead generation and their last one GPO Pro which is their services they have GPO pay GPO safe ship insurance and supplies and this is for all their members remember their members are businesses small businesses and medium businesses that can use services all the time their go pay here is a low cost reliable payment processing they initially started this for their CBD oil business and their hemp business and now they're expanding it to other areas GPO safe ship is a licensed and insured bonded shipping solution business to business and they want to also kick this off to direct consumer shipments which they're not into consumers yet but they plan to be GPO insurance offering multiple types of insurance and coverages to their members and then GPO supplies which is custom packaging labels lab equipment materials apparel merchandise general printing promotional items all that sort of stuff now as I said a lot of this isn't actually up and running right now but it's all being put together so it is imminent and it should be taken off here real soon all right let's go take a look at that volume and see what sort of relative volume the company did today now when we look at the relative volume keep in mind there is no catalyst right now we're looking at this company because it's coming out of stealth mode they've got a business model that works and they're starting to apply it yeah they're small but that's the way startups are and this is an opportunity to look at it before it gets big normally the company's only doing about 19,000 shares a day today was a hard day on the market hard day for her she did only 16,000 shares what is their share structure in this company all right, they've got nothing listed here that is really dependable. Normally, I would go to the unrestricted shares, but they show nothing here. The float, they've got down at 5.8 million, which is an unbelievably low share count. So I went searching on Google just to see what I could find. There's not a lot of information. I only found two, two places that listed anything. One had 7.7 .7 million and one had 17.7 million. Now, I don't know if somebody added a one or forgot a one, so I don't know which one it is. Either way, it's not a bad float. Considering the outstanding shares is only 29 million, you know, it's not going to be very high anyways. So either case, 7 or 17, it is looking like a low float. Financials. Now, get out of there. Financials, I don't know what they're going to show over here uh, if it's ever going to come up. The fact of the matter is, is that the company has just had a milestone. They did. They just broke a million dollar revenue for the first time. Let's see here. Uh, this goes back to 43031. That's probably pretty close. We've got to grab these three zeros up here. We put that behind here, so that's $826,000. Let's see if it breaks it down on a quarterly any stronger. Two, five, uh, over 21. Yeah, yeah, they sure did get over a million dollars in revenues. So they are picking up, and that that is a big deal. When you see that your product is actually starting to make revenues when you're small and you've only got it working a little bit for you, 
Once you get it going big, the revenue should be big too. And I got to tell you folks, it's an exciting product if you're a small business. If you're a medium-sized business, there aren't any options for these companies to be able to gain profits. They're being strangled right now and they're just out of the game. So this really is a godsend for a lot of them. And their disclosures. We got anything over here? Um... 10Q came out in January. If you really want to know about the company, come over here and read the 10Q. Now, taking a look at the news, you can see that the last piece of news did come out January 27th. As I said, the chief operating officer, okay? It's not the CEO, it's the COO. And speaking of not getting it right, his name is Wayne Smeal, not Wayne Smealy. <laughs> This is why I say, always do your own DD. You never know when I might get something wrong just by accident. Now, we go all the way back here to March of last year. This is when they got uplisted to the QB. And I point that out because that is a token sign of them getting serious. It wasn't easy and it wasn't cheap to get on the QB. They got better things to do than waste their time and money. The next one came out here in August. GPO Plus exits stealth mode with proof of concept for disruptive new group purchasing business model. They're real excited. It is a short piece of news. Like I said, it came out August 30th. The company is excited to announce it is exited to stealth mode with proof of concept of our GPO business model and it is well positioned to begin sharing its story with the investment community. Don't they sound proud? Over the last year, GPOX has developed a scalable, GPO business model that is able to work across multiple industries. And they did. They just jumped out into it. The next piece of news you get here, GPO Plus announces master distribution and national sales agreement with U.S. Bio Solutions for patented property biofoam technology. This came out November 17th. The company announced today it has entered into a master distribution and sales agreement with U.S. Bio Solutions. GPOX will become a non exclusive master distributor for all products developed and manufactured by USBS with a superior pricing structure. This creates an exceptional opportunity for GPOX to assist USBS by establishing multiple sales channels, identifying national sub distributors under GPOX, working with wholesalers, and introducing USBS products to new markets. As part of the agreement, USBS and GPOX will work together to develop an exclusive line of biofoam personal protective equipment products to be white labeled and or private labeled under GPOX's new private brands. So they're already doing it with the CBD oil. They're now going to be doing private labeling, white labeling with these products. And I'll show you what they are here in just a second. Now one they really don't show us a lot of, but they talk a lot of because it is the basis for all their other products. The patented Aquaflux open cell foam technology as invented by aquaflex founder scott smith has been on the front lines of water surface and airborne decontamination for nearly two decades aquaflex was originally developed for the u.s military as a high surface area applicator for neutralizing chemicals on human skin in 2002. since then the base Aquaflex technology continues to be used by the U.S. military and militaries in over 35 countries. In 2010, Aquaflex technology was approved, used, and endorsed by BP America in the cleanup of the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. So this is a real heavy-duty product. And I'm going to tell you a few facts here that are going to really freak you out. So we've jumped over here to their website and you can see that they sell personal protective equipment. And why shouldn't they? It's huge business. Lots of companies are selling disinfectants, face masks, rubber gloves. Lots and lots of people are buying them and they're buying paper towels and they're buying rags. Of course they are. You got to wipe the counters and clean everything up but they're not getting what they think they're getting. You look at these products and you say, okay, so they've got towels and rags and a mitt. Big deal. Folks, there is some science behind this that is going to blow your mind. 
If you're spending money on paper towels and disinfectant, you're wasting your money. I'm not kidding. I'm going to zoom in on one product just so you can see the science here. We're going to look at the Silly Green Mint. They say this replaces 4,000 paper towels. And you're not going to believe what you hear here. This green mitt is as light as air and is made from a special patented open cell material. And that is the key part here, folks. Open cell material. Don't lose focus on that. The powerful micro pores create a huge surface area to collect and neutralize dirt and germs, leaving no odor after use. Due to the open cell design, if you flattened out the green glove, it would actually cover 180 square feet of surface. That's the size of most living rooms. We're talking about that glove right there. It's as light as air, but if you could open it up because of its open cell membrane, it would cover that big of an area. This large surface area allows Green Glove to deliver a far better clean since it collects and neutralizes dirt and germs rather than just pushing them around. Now, I want to show you something and I can't go through it all as I went through it, but down here there is a video. This is a commercial that they have for their product. This woman is doing it, and she is showing you the difference. I don't want to actually play it. I just want to slide this along. All right, here she has in front of her the mitt, a sponge, rags, and paper towels. And she's got the same disinfectant for all of them. And then she's got this Liptus paper. And she takes this Liptus paper and she dips it in and, and she shows if it comes up green, it's killing 99.9% .9 of the germs. If it comes up yellow, it's not killing anything. So she dips it in these disinfectants and of course it comes up bright green. So then she takes the sponge, she takes the paper towels and she drops them all in the bowls. Then she just takes the Liptus paper and puts it in the disinfectant again like that. She's not moving anything. She's just putting the sponge in the disinfectant, putting the Liptus paper in the disinfectant, and look what happened. It turned yellow. All of them, the paper towel, the rag, all of them turned yellow, but not the mitt. When she did the mitt, it turned green. What am I saying here, folks? The paper towel, the rags, the sponges, because of their composition makeup, because they are so tight and knitted, the disinfectants are neutralized. I am not lying to you folks, they're neutralized. When you use your paper towel with a disinfectant, as this ad shows, it becomes neutral and all you're doing is moving germs around. You've bought paper towels, you've bought disinfectant, and neither of them are doing what you want. And they say this glove has this open pore which allows the hydrogen to break the cell of the germs, bust the cell open, the outer membrane, and then kill it from, from the inside. Where the sponge, the paper towels, and the rest don't give enough room for this to happen. I don't understand the science, but that is what it's all about. And finally, the last piece of news definitely worthy of taking a look at came out here on December 20th. They tell us that today the company announced the official launch of antigentest.com, a website to sell their over-the-counter rapid COVID-19 tests. They tell us that the purpose of the antigentest.com site is to provide health GPO members and point of care providers with a competitive pricing and reliable supply chain for the POC COVID-19 tests. Health GPO started distributing FDA emergency youth authorization tests back in October of 2020 and immediately after the initial FDA UAs were granted. So they've been on top of this from the very start. And the reason they've done this is to cure the two problems of the unreliable supply chains of not being able to keep these coming in as needed and the wildly inconsistent pricing with regular prices being more consistent. And there's just no reason for the prices to jump up and down. That's, you know, taking advantage of a situation. And finally, shareholders who looked closely at our filings could identify that a large portion of our revenue last year 2021 was derived from the POC COVID test sales. The importance of this project cannot be overstated. They're very excited about this because, well, the truth of the matter is we're not out of the woods. 
We don't know how long COVID's going to be around, whether it be the Delta, the Omicron, 19, or whatever comes along. It could be with us a very, very long time. And we may all want these kits because fast detection is what's important. All right. That basically tells you what this company is doing, where they're going, and what we can expect. And today they had a rough day. That chart should show us a buying opportunity. Let's go take a look. So this is GPOX six month, four hour chart on TOS. That's think or swim. If you don't have a trading platform, <laughs> you really do need to get one. This one's free. Just mosey on over to TD Ameritrade, get yourself a free trading account. They're not going to ask for any money. You don't even actually have to trade with them. Just keep your account open and you can use TOS just like me. So this is the six month, four hour chart. We got a high bubble here five months ago for $2.67. And we have a low bubble a few days ago at 32 cents. And currently we're at 47. Now she hasn't had much volume, 19,000 shares over the last 30 days. Looks like it was even less back here. But keep in mind, the company's been in stealth mode. Shh. She hasn't been saying anything. She just came out of stealth mode a couple months ago and now we're being told what she's going to be doing and she's starting to do it. So we've got to give her time to grow. MACD is low. Everything is low as you would expect. Although she is just now starting to press up and that 200 is way up there. We're up at $1.55, which gives you a, a indicator of where this is trying to push to. Let's go look at that 20 day, one hour look. All right, again, she's been under the 50 the entire time. However, she tapped it once a few days ago, broke through it once, and even though she was falling downhill onto that low bubble, she did break it. She got through it the other day, had a good strong day as a matter of fact, but has fallen again back through the 50 down to the 20 day SMA on the one hour chart. Let's look at that five minute, five day. All right, yesterday was a booming day. She went from 37 cents, closing the day before, up to a high of 65 cents, almost 100%. Had a big drop, but then took a lot of it back. And then today, threw a bunch of it away again. And really looks to be sitting on this 50-day SMA. She came below it, came back up, fell, came back up. So it looks like she wants to hang around here. And our MACD and RSI, again, is looking pretty light. So I do like this company, but if you're going to look at this company, don't look at it as a short play. This is a long hold, folks. They've just come out. They're just starting. They've got a market that they're going to tap into. So what I would do, if you wanted to play this, this is a good price. The 50-day SMA is a good time to buy this, but know how much you're going to buy so that you have a plan. Let's just say, for example, you're going to buy $1,000 worth. Right now, it'd be a good time to get maybe 20%, $200 worth, because you're going to be holding it a long time. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. We could go into a war and that could bring the whole market down. Won't you feel better knowing that if it goes down, you can make advantage of it and buy more shares at a bloody cheaper price? If you buy it all right now, every time it falls, you're going to feel depressed and aggravated. And the only direction it can go to make you happy is up. You buy 20% now, either direction it goes, you can make advantage of it and it can be good for you. So that is what I would consider with this stock. So it was a down day. It was a down stock. But that's when you want to make opportunities work for you. We're looking at a stock that's coming out of stealth, coming out of the dark. They have just now got a new business model, a GPO, which is going to be hot for a lot of companies because a lot of companies are suffering. And with inflation right now, it's bad enough coming out of COVID and losing all that business. Now you're losing business because you just can't afford to buy your products anymore. This is going to be something that can help not only the American businessmen, but Americans because it's going to pass savings on all the way down the road. I like what's going on here, but it's going to take time. So as I said, build up your investment. Don't just jump into it. But most importantly, 
do your own DD. I might have got something wrong. Check out all the facts, jump into their 10Q, look around, see what they've got going, and keep your ear to the grindstone because I get the feeling this company is going to be coming out with more press releases for more products, more acquisitions in the future that they're going to be involved with. It is their ultimate game. Remember, folks, the more you know, <laughs> the more you're going to grow. See ya. Para pa pa dam para pa pa para pa da pa pa dam para pa pa ti da di da tu du du pa pa dam pa 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 da di da du pa pa